What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of DLB TV Unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing the play... Oh, my bad. Wrong product. Roll the intro. My fault guys. All right. This is what we're going to be unboxing today. The PlayStation DualShock 4 controller for the PlayStation 4, obviously. Got this today from Amazon. I I got it from the 30 for 30 sale that they got going on right now. If you have anything that you want to trade in that's worth uh, $30, accessories, consoles, um, uh, games, whatever you have, you trade it in uh, on Amazon's trade-in program and you can get, uh, they'll give you, you know, whatever you trade in plus an additional $30 uh, to go towards a DualShock 4 controller. So that's uh, how I got my DualShock 4. So let's go ahead and get into this. Go ahead and read the back for you guys. Uh, on the back of the box it says an evolutionary controller for the new era of gaming. The DualShock 4 wireless controller features familiar PlayStation controls and innovative uh, new additions such as touchpad, light bar, and more. It says the touchpad supports multi-touch, opens up new gameplay possibilities, built-in speaker and stereo headphone jack, uh, add new audio options, um, dual analog sticks and shoulder buttons retain that classic ergonomic feel while improving control. Uh, share button makes the social interactions easy with the instant gameplay video and screen uploads. And then last but not least, the light bar combines with uh, the PlayStation camera to precisely track players' uh, position and movements. So again, this is the DualShock 4 controller um, and it will be compatible with the uh, camera as well. So I got both these bad boys. I did the unboxing for this one already, so if you haven't watched that, check that one out. I showed you guys how to, uh, well, I unboxed it, put it on top of my TV, showed you guys what it's going to look like and all that good stuff. But now we're going to be focusing on this bad boy right here. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road, not delay this any longer. Um, again, like with the camera, I like what Sony's doing. Uh, it's nice and easier and quick to get to the product. Do you guys see how easy that was? Boom, I'm done. I used to have to take a box cutter to these things. Uh, let's see. And as always, we have the uh, instructions. Uh, it does not come with the um, USB um, charge cable. Does my controller scuff? Wow. My controller already has a scuff mark. Let's see if I can show that to you guys. You see that? Right there, already has a scuff mark. My goodness. But that's okay, I'm not gonna send it all the way back to Amazon just for that. Um, anyways, people, uh, this is it. The DualShock 4 controller. Uh, man, I've already played with one of these. Uh, I went to PAX. Uh, and checked it out, got some hands on with it. And this controller, man, it just, it's its its so right and it fits perfectly. Uh, with the, I will show you a uh, comparison with the DualShock 4, but I already traded all that stuff in. But anyways, that's beyond, besides the point. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the controller. Um, shows all Sony's imprints and all that good stuff. You got the uh, uh, micro USB charger right there on the top. Uh, you see the light bar, the light bar right here. Um, the back of the touchpad, uh, your R2, L2 buttons, and they look and feel really good. So, you guys get an example of how that's gonna work. I mean, man, this controller, guys, it feels so good. You got the touchpad right there. It's not too far uh, from your thumb. So, you know, when you're playing games and you're swiping up, it's, it's, it's a beauty. But yeah, the controller, it, it, just, it feels so natural and so great in your hands. I mean, goodness, the, the face, it just, goodness gracious, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this thing if you haven't already. You got your option button, your share button, which will be used by me a lot. Um, 
You got the trackpad right there, um, and it is a left and right click like a laptop. Uh, if, you, if you've ever had a trackpad, um, if you ever had a, a Mac, and even on PCs now, you have like just the one trackpad without the buttons at the bottom. That's what this basically uh, feels like is one of those trackpads. Um, but you can see like your, your fingers just get to it really easily. So if you're like playing a game, you just gotta swipe up, gotta swipe to the left, swipe to the right. Like it's, it's really easy for your thumbs to get there. Uh, you got the analog sticks right here. The analog sticks, it, they just, they feel so much tighter and so much smoother. You got the speaker right here in the middle, the PlayStation button. Um, uh, I don't think I like that. So, got the light bar on the back and then I will uh, go ahead and plug this into a charger. So, uh, I'll do all that on video so you guys can check that out. And then at the bottom you have the headphone jack right here and then uh, it'll support a bunch of accessories right here at the bottom whatever they end up coming out with in the future you can see the the texture that from the you know from the front of the controller to the back and it really feels good um, this definitely feels like a deluxe type of controller it definitely doesn't feel cheap or or anything like that it definitely feels better than uh, the DualShock 3 uh, man I can't wait to get my gaming on. Holding this thing just makes me that much more excited. But this is the dual shot for people. All right, so we have the camera, we have the controller now, both of them together. Um, these things will be going hand in hand with one another. As you can see, the, the design uh, definitely looks really similar, like the grills on the speakers on there looks similar to the texture that's on the uh, the back and the side of the controller uh, the light bar will be working hand in hand with the with the camera lenses when it comes to gaming stuff like that can't wait to see what they do with that I don't believe we've seen anything yet at this point in time with I, actually I haven't seen a game well, well uh, 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 playroom but uh, other than that you know like actual game curious to see what developers do with this if anything at all since the camera doesn't come bundled in with the controller hopefully uh, developers will actually see the use for it but you know we'll see what happens but here's both of them side by side the new family PlayStation 4 camera and the DualShock 4 all right so near outlet so we're gonna go ahead Flip this around, plug the charger in the back, and let's see. So, uh, so yellow, oh, so it fades out. So it looks like um, the controller will pulsate. Uh, right now it's a yellowish color, if the color isn't coming out correctly for you guys because of the camera. Um, it looks like it pulsates uh, when it's charging, so I don't know if it will uh, stop pulsating or if uh, if the the light bar will turn green but uh, nonetheless that's what it looks like uh, as the device charges so uh, the way you pair the controller to the console is you have to connect it via USB uh, to the console initially and that's how you compare the controller uh, or that's how you pair the controller to the PlayStation 4 so this people is the dual shock 4 hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you comment rate subscribe and uh yeah i'll let you guys later peace just that much closer to being to the launch of this console i'm extremely excited so uh let's get into this man so this is it the playstation 4 camera i got it from uh, gamestop paid it in full uh well before the console even launched um so the game so well that i thought the two that were talking were actually the actual characters in the game talking not two people that were playing cooperatively but the game looked phenomenal the 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 uh the hud for the game looked great i mean they did a great job